G'day everyone, James here with JWN Lawn Care and Landscaping bringing you another video. everyone hello welcome back um, today I'm on one of our larger um, residentials so I'm just going around to pick you up any crap flying around here and it's not grown tons it's actually better times we've made it um, I'm just going around seeing anything that needs to be picked up um, that the mile's gonna hit wreak havoc with um, Stuff like that. Um, it's a decent, oh, for God's sake, there's uh, student rentals for you. You've seen this one before, I think. Um, and, geez, this guy's a piss party, aren't they? And so, it's, yeah, just picking up um, any stuff that I don't want the mower to hit. What's up there? Um, bits of brick, bits of steel wire. Basically anything and everything, because um, we do not need uh, the Victor blades hitting that. We've got a lot of work to do tomorrow morning. Uh, I really can't afford any problems, so yeah, I'm just going around making sure that's all good, and then we're going to mow it. Um, what I might do is I'll actually. rim and edge and then we mow um, but today I think on this one because it's a bit bigger I'm gonna do is um, mow first and then trim just because uh, there's certain sections where it's sloped or so on or obstacles and um, after a bit you kind of get a feel for where you can go and what your limits are on your machines um, but uh, just to be on the safe side and to avoid, hey mate, just to avoid excess uh, trimming at the end, we um, check through everything and so I'll run over with the mower first and then I'll trim any dips or side areas the mower misses later um, after we're done. So that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll shut this on. I'm uh, not gonna bother. If you can maybe just put it on the concrete or something there, mate, because I've got to, um, we're gonna mow all this. Yeah, I'll, I'll clean that up, it's fine. Um, yeah, so I'm lucky I'm able to quickly do this after school. It's right near my house. Um, last day of school today. So, oops. Well, I'm technically on holidays, but this is my holiday more or less. Um, so, yeah, go chuck this on, might as well. Hopefully you guys can see and hear me alright. <laughs> Some of you here like tree stumps there and so on where I've um, uh, I've put roundup around and alongside the edges of uh, glass. Don't really want to touch that, but yeah. Woo! Very easy to cut your hand on that stuff. Um, but you can so you can see all along here, all along here I've sprayed. Um, oh, hello. Mum's calling. One moment. See how I can get this to work height. Yep, it's it's just it's just the one, yep. That's the one. Alright, thanks. See ya. Bye. Alright, my mom's just being up some stuff. Uh, uh, 
Just checking um, girlfriend's birthday tomorrow, so it's going to be interesting because I've got this 18th to go to in the afternoon, and I've got a. Oh, I did have about 17 lawns to do in the morning, but I think that's now down to about 15, 14 in the morning, and then uh, I've got to be done by one basically to get ready for this party in the afternoon, and then Sunday morning. Uh, I'm going away, but I'll put that in another video. So hopefully this one's going to be up before we do that, but I'll make a separate vlog uh, when we're away. Um, of, you know, where, where that's at. Um, we're going up and spending about a week in the Northern Territory, Central Australia way. Um, let's see, stumps like that. This area's a bit funny here. I don't know what was here, um, but it's basically just all wood chips and dirt this big circle um, so I basically I normally just mow around it because not really anything grows in it um, and when you're running over mulch and it's like that it just stuffs up the blades so I'd rather know if I can avoid it uh, that's coming up but all right Oi. there we go what's that oh that's why I'm going to be on tomorrow that's an Air New Zealand, I don't know if you can see that up there. Airbus A320, 232, oh, it's the Sharkless one. Probably coming in from Auckland or somewhere. We get all the New Zealand and so on aircrafts going to Sydney and everything over here. Um, they come in for runway 27 at Melbourne Airport um, from here. Yeah, it's the Sharkless one, yep. Um, nice aircraft, so I'll be on one of those on Sunday. Um, but I'll be on a Jetstar one. I still budget airline. I don't know why everyone gets Jetstar so much shit, honestly. They're a good airline. Get what you pay for, really. Uh, what am I going to do with this? This thing's... Yeah, I'll just leave it there. Um, uh, it's nice, wonderful. Long hair life for you. Uh, how about we put them in here? Let's do that. One, two, three, four. Oh jeez, whiskey. <laughs> That's a year. It's a carbon dry. Yeah, doing well with these. <laughs> Cracked down for you, eh? <laughs> I got back. That's gonna be a bit more helpful, isn't it? Oops. There we go. Might help us. <clears throat> Don't want to hit one of these with the mower. More the half of them are clean, but yeah. <laughs> What's that? Is that uh, put in? Uh, no. Ah, it's that else. Of this. Yeah. Oh, bits of rock like this, watch out for them. Send that well out of the way. Thanks for that, guys. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've, just because this place is a student rental, I don't really care that much. So you can see, we don't do anything extra to this, we just mow, so like in between there I sprayed along the fence line, I sprayed under there. I'm not normally one for round upping stuff, but on some of these properties, um, just to get done quickly, because they, um, you know, want a good price and want done easily, just spray it, spray down there, spray along the bank. Out there or something, obviously, there is still as well. They all join for the ILS. Um, there you go. Should be right. All right, thank you.
yeah so you know all this has been difficult and wonky so I spray a lot of this and we trim what's left um, but you know that's okay it's a uh, it's a good place so um, yeah what I'll do so I'll, I'll mow first and then everything that's um, left will um, trim so this is going to be full length uh, feel free to skip through as you wish I'm not going to really edit anything uh, it's just going to be straight recording and there's some other calling again so um, yeah we'll get mowing in a moment right so uh, we're going to about good uh, you.
rice. Um, uh, normally as opposed to quality, uh, if that makes sense. So, you know, oh, if it's 91, if it's 94, if it's 94, let's take the 91. Bit heavier, but bit heavier GD2 um, for these sorts of ones. Actually, no, you know what? We've got hardly a trimming to do. Let's take the 94. Slice a nice ridge. So, yeah, let's get trimming. Jeez, it's starting to go Not neat, I know. Don't judge these, they're just, again, it's built to a price. Uh, not quality as much, unfortunately. Um, yeah. <laughs>
again, not the world's greatest part and this place is about making tall grass short um, now, price point you know everyone keeps asking what would you charge, what would you charge for this and that and everything else um, bit of a taboo thing really, I guess, in this industry a lot of people don't particularly like to talk about prices um, for, I guess, reasonably obvious reasons, and I get that um, in private, maybe um, I mean, look, I'll be straight up honest with you guys um, this property, in kind of decent condition like it is at the moment uh, mode, then blow off um, like I've just done is $115, right? Australian, that's why I charge them. Um, I will happily state that. Um, you know, I've got no problems with that. Uh, that's what we charge. Oops, sorry, I that up. No, I haven't. Good. Um, that's what we charge, right? Um, and that works for us. So, for me and a helper, we can get this done in about half an hour. 40 minutes, um, which is pretty good running for $115 really. So I'm happy doing it at that price. Um, the client's happy. Uh, so that's what matters. Um, and these are my mowing and project sites by the way. They're new. And so for commercials and so on that we do. Um, but yeah, so that's what we do. And for these, it's real easy. Um, no hassling around. Just get in, mow it, go, done. Um, and I like that, right? I'm sure they're not your nice manicured properties, but it's decent money and it's a um, happy customer at the end of the day, so that's what we care about. He's as black as. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> these sorts of ones I do, I do like doing. Um, and yeah, so nice and easy, I thought I don't have much else to do um, so I'll take a bit of time off it's one that I have to do tomorrow so this blower for what I'm doing, especially for what I was doing at the time, probably was a bit overkill. Um, but my god, I'm glad that I did buy it. It's such a big help in these big places. See what's going on. My mates are organising this present for Finn tomorrow. So, um, yeah. There we go. Alright. So, yeah, that's this lawn done. Um, 
nice and quick. Especially that wasn't a bad time, um, especially solo. So, yeah, um, that's what we do. That's how we do it. Um, all these guys have got notices because they've been putting the bins in front of guys and shit. Not the smartest idea, but there you go. Um, so yeah, um, that's a nice quick lawn. Um, that's what we're about, right? Just get in, get it done, get out. Um, so tomorrow's going to be interesting because we do have a lot to do. Um, and I doubt we'll be able to get it all done, but I really do need to get as much of it as I can done. Because, yeah, otherwise I will have to wait another week. And I didn't do any lawns last week. Uh, the musical lawn for the school. Um, so, you know, I'm basically, I'm already a week behind on a number of them. And I really could do without being, oh, you know, two weeks behind. Because um, I was supposed to do a lot of key customers last week and we just didn't get to them. So, um, yeah, I've, I've really got to knuckle down tomorrow. So we're going to be out. We're allowed to start at 9am, so that's when we're going to be firing up at the first job if everything goes to plan. Um, because, yeah. Uh, we're just going to be so busy. Um, so, yeah, um, that's going to be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it again. This isn't a pristine, you know, kind of nice high paying job thing. Um, so, no, it's not the same quality as what I do on some other properties. Um, but that is acceptable, right? Uh, keeps the council off their ass. Makes me money, right? So, Hope you enjoyed, tell me what you think. If you've got yards like this, tell me. Um, this is one where I really would like something like a 54 inch bore. Um, but yeah, so, um, give me your thoughts and we'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.